good afternoon folks how are you I hope you are doing well no real complaints over on this side today we are going to take a look at literally one of my least favorite beers on the planet I really don't like this beer that shows you exactly what kind of channel this is though this beer is super popular a lot of people love it including my friends for some reason I, I never been a big IPA guy and this is one of my least favorite IPAs to be honest I haven't drank this beer in probably five or six years so we'll see after this long experiment of drinking all these different beers maybe my palate's changed and softened up a little anyway we are going to look at Ballas Point Brewing Company out of San Diego, their flagship, Sculpin. Ballas Point's actually a really good brewery. I like a lot of their beers. They got sold out to Constellation for like a billion dollars. And I uh, was just reading up on it. They, uh, they couldn't turn the corner on it. Constellation does like Corona Pacifico and stuff. They couldn't turn a corner on it though, so they wound up selling it to a small brewery out of Chicago, Kings and Convicts. That does make my heart a little better. Smaller breweries tend not to try and poison me and usually give a shit more about their product, but it is what it is. So, dedicated to the craft, Bellas Point Brewing Company Sculping in Sculpin India Pale Ale. The standard don't drink while pregnant bullshit. 12 ounces, 7.0 is the ABV. Seventy is the IBUs, and now you know why I can't stand this beer. Fucking 70 IBUs. Yeah, because uh, uh, I, I No. Just no. Alright, so we're gonna do the pour. I do not have a therm out, as you can tell, the bunker's down because we're supposed to have weather blowing in, so I packed all my gear up so we can get fucked up. We will not do a temperature. I will say, by my hand, this beer's running somewhere around 50. Pulled it out of the refrigerator. Been sitting out for about 10 minutes. 50-ish. In the meantime, let's, uh... Let's listen to Garbage and their new song, No Gods, No Masters. Premiered four hours ago. I like Garbage. I thought they were a good band. Let's do it to it. Ooh, somebody's going back to Synthwave, huh? All 
right, that's two minutes. That's usually enough to make sure a screw tube can't monetize on us. I do like their artwork. Their artwork is usually fish-based, which is really cool. Damn, it's windy out. Rue is a nice dark gold color. That head is gorgeous. Look at how it's packed in there. Ooh. A little bit on the cloudy side, effervesce as well. And again, we are using the uh, high end Simply Monty IPA glass. Because we're fucking snooty snobbo like that, right? That's us. I've never liked this beer. And my friends love it. And I'm like, this thing tastes like ass. Piney fruity. Kind of a weird citrus nose. Uh, heavy, sugary. What is going on here? Our Sculpin IPA is a great example of what got us into brewing in the first place. After years of experimenting, we knew hopping an ale at five separate stages, no wonder it's so bitter it could be my ex-wife, would produce something special. The result ended up being this gold medal winning IPA whose inspired use of hops creates hints of, here you go, apricot, peach, mango, and lemon, but still packs a bit of a sting, just like sculpin fish and the sting references because they call them scorpion fish because they have spines and if that spine sticks you, the venom in there is absolutely brutally painful for about, oh, 18 or 24 hours. So really a good idea not to fuck with them. We would drink this in Cali. I like Ballast Point as a brewery. In uh, Cali, we uh, knock these back all day long, except I wouldn't drink these. I would drink their other ones. Their Kolsch is good, their Lager's really solid, their Pels is really good, and they're all fish name. Longfin, Grenion, uh, Marlin, Mako, all kinds of shit like that. Their artwork is off the fucking hook, though. So, that's the nose, folks. It's a... Um, it's a dense, cloyingly sweet nose. It smells sticky. I don't know if that translates. Grab one, pop a can, put your nose in it, and you'll be like, ooh, I know what he means now. Lace is nice, though. It's all that fruit. All right, well, even if she smells like this, she's still got a slip of the tongue, because we are gentlefolk, after all. Skull. Yeah. No. Bitter and dry with a weird tobacco taste. The only way I can describe it. An absolute brutal assault across the palate. The saving grace is she's medium fast, but she's so oily. My mouth is still covered in this. I tried, fuckers, okay? I tried. I actually bought a, a mix 12 pack. And it was all stuff I... You know, I don't know if I did it before. It was a couple of weeks ago. And then my buddy Angus came over and he needed to bend the elbow. And so I said, well, all right, I, I got some ballast point. We knocked a few back and we knocked them. We knocked them all back. I saved this one. I really don't like this beer. Blech. You ever been drunk at a party 
and you picked up the wrong beer bottle and somebody had thrown a cigarette butt in there. Ugh. I, I know it says that it won 34 awards. I just didn't realize that there were 34 categories of tastes like rancid ass. Ugh. People love this beer for some reason. I have no idea why. Again, my palate is not their palate. I'm not a huge IPA guy. And even for an IPA, this is... This. The cigarette taste is like burnt and heavy. Everything is just an assault on the palate. I will tell you what. The last time I didn't finish a beer, might have been that Clamato Michelada I did like two years ago. Ugh. Ugh. This is just as foul. So, we shall dedicate this to the brothers that aren't here. To the sisters who couldn't be here with us. Not much of a dedication, but... Oh, I wouldn't serve that shit to a dog, not even Sancho the pirate dog, although... As a pirate dog, he's a bit more of a rum aficionado. Thank you, my friends, for coming by and putting some eyeballs on here. Again, I tried. I don't know why people drink this. I think it's horrible. And my two best friends absolutely loved it and couldn't get enough. The, the best thing about this was I would drink the lager, the pills, the Kolsch, and I pay $7 a six pack. This stuff was $15 a six pack. I just looked at him and was like, you motherfuckers, out of your mind. This is not a good beer. It's a good beer for them. It's a good beer for them. Ugh. Ugh. As always, my friends, thank you for coming by. Putting some eyeballs on here, helping me grow the channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching, liking, and sharing helps. Okay? Um, as always, I love you. You are my people. What I want you to be is the big three. What is the big three? Healthy, happy, and safe. You might like it. A lot of people do. I don't. Ugh. Horrible fucking beer. Um, be healthy, be happy, be safe, but most of all, be in the moment. Unplug. Throw your fucking digital shit in a drawer. Find someplace quiet, sit down, collect your thoughts, dump that cash, get all that, that chatter and that fuzz and shit out of your brain. You will feel much better. I cannot recommend taking two of these with you, though, because I love you. You're my people, and that shit's just nasty. Blew. Thanks for coming by, my friends. I will see you on the next one. Till then... A, there's a slizzard in here, and I still hate to toast you with this, but... Skull!